English conversations. 7. Renting an apartment. Part 1. Content. Hi. Can I speak with the apartment manager, please? Hello. This is the apartment manager speaking. I'm calling about the apartment for rent on Main Street. Would you be interested in seeing the apartment? I would love to see it. Are you free today at around 6 p.m.? Yes, I will be able to make it then. Well, I'll see you at 6 p.m. Do you know how to get there? I used to live in that area. I'll give you an application form when I see you. That sounds good. Do I need to bring anything? No, just bring yourself. Hello. I was wondering if I could talk with the apartment manager. I am the apartment manager. How can I help you? I was wondering if the apartment on Main Street is still available. Yes, it's still vacant. Are you interested in seeing it? Yes, I would love to see the apartment. I will be at the apartment today at 6. Can you make it? Yes, I can be there at 6. Great, I'll see you at 6. Do you know where it is? Yes, I have a friend who lives in that neighborhood. I'll be bringing an application form. Okay, should I bring anything with me? No, I might need to see your ID card, but that's about it. Can I speak to the apartment manager? I am the apartment manager. How can I help you? I wanted to know if that apartment on Main Street is still for rent. I haven't rented it out yet. Would you like to see it? Yes, I want to see it. How about today at 6 p.m.? That time is okay with me. Very good. We'll meet at 6. Do you need directions? No, thank you. I go by there on my way to work. If you're interested, you can fill out an application form. That's a good idea. Do I need to bring anything myself? No, the only thing I need to see is your driver's license. I'd like to speak with the apartment manager, please. This is he. What can I do for you? I'm interested in the apartment on Main Street. It's still available. Do you want to see it? Yes, I would very much like to see it. Does today at 6 p.m. sound okay to you? I have no problem at 6 p.m. Okay, I'll see you at 6 o'clock. Do you need any directions? No, thanks. I already drove by to see what the neighborhood looks like. I'll have an application form with me. You can fill it out if you're interested. Should I bring anything with me? No, I only need to check your driver's license. May I speak to the apartment building manager, please? I'm the manager. How can I help you? I was hoping that apartment on Main Street was still available. Why, yes it is. Would you like to get a look inside the apartment? Yes, it would be nice to see the apartment. How about today at 6 o'clock? Yes, I can be there at 6. Sounds good. I'll see you at 6. Do you want directions? I'm okay, thank you. I already checked out the address on MapQuest. If you like the place, you can fill out an application form. I'll bring one with me. Is there anything I need to bring with me? No, I won't need to see anything except your driver's license. This is Janet Smith in apartment 23. Can I speak to the apartment manager? Hi, how can I help you today? Well, my window facing the empty lot is broken. Oh, that's not good. What happened? I don't know. I wasn't home when it happened. Do you have any clue who might have done this? I have a feeling that it might have been the neighborhood kids. Why? What leads you to that suspicion? Well, next to the broken glass was a baseball. Well, a baseball is certainly solid evidence. I saw them playing just before I left my apartment. Well, did you recognize any of them? No, I just took a quick look. Well, it'll take a couple of days to repair it. A friend of mine is in the business. How about if I call him? That's okay by me. First, let me come see the damage. Come on over. So, does my friend charge you or me? Since you didn't break it, you don't have to pay for it. That's a relief. I thought I was going to get stuck with the bill. If I knew which kid did it, I would bill his parents.
I'm Janet Smith in apartment 23. Is this the apartment manager? Hello, what can I do for you today? My living room window is broken. Are you serious? Do you know what happened? I am not really sure, because I was out when it occurred. Do you have any idea who might have been behind this? Something tells me it might be some of the kids in the complex. What led you to think it might be the kids in this building? I found a baseball near the broken glass. Well, you can't ignore a baseball in your living room, can you? I saw them in the lot just before I went out. Do you know any of them? No, I didn't pay any attention to who they were. I'll call the window repairman, but it'll probably take a couple of days. I could get fast service if I call a friend of mine. I don't have a problem with that. Let me look at the damage first. Okay, I'm waiting for you. But who does my friend give the bill to? Since the kids broke it, your friend can bill me. Whew. I was worried that I would have to pay for it. Believe me, if I found out which kid broke the window, I'll bill his parents. This is Janet Smith in apartment 23. May I speak to the apartment manager? Speaking, what can I do for you? Something happened to my window. It's broken. That doesn't sound good. Do you know how it happened? I don't know the exact details. Do you have an idea who might be responsible for the window? I'm almost sure it is the local kids in the apartments. How did you come to that conclusion? There was a baseball in my living room along with the broken glass. Well, at least there's no mystery about how it happened. I saw a group of them playing in the lot just before I went out to my car. Can you tell me which ones you recognized? I just looked at them for a second. I'll call a repairman, but it, it might take two days. How about if I call a friend of mine who is a repairman? That's no problem. I'll come by right now to look at the damage. Okay. Come on over. But tell me, who pays for this? You can pay for it and I can reimburse you, or he can bill me directly. I'm glad to hear that. I didn't want to get stuck with the bill. I will bill the kid's parents if I ever find out which kid did it. Hello, I'm Janet Smith in Unit 23. Am I speaking to the apartment manager? This is he. How may I help you? My window that faces the empty lot is broken. I'm sorry to hear that. Why is it broken? I can't tell you exactly how it happened. Well, tell me what you think might have happened. I've got a pretty good idea that it's the kids who live here. Why do you think that? Next to the broken glass in my living room was a baseball. Well, you don't need Sherlock Holmes to figure this one out, do you? Just before I went shopping, I saw them in the lot. Can you give me a name or two or a description? I have absolutely no idea. I'll call a repairman for you, but it'll probably take one or two days. I could probably get it fixed today because a friend of mine is a repairman. That's okay, but let me see the damage first. I'm coming over. The glass is all cleaned up, so come on over. But do I pay for this? No, I will pay for your friend, or I will reimburse you if you pay him. That's good news. I was worried you were going to make me pay for this. You're not at fault, but the kid who did it is. This is Janet Smith in Unit 23. Is this the apartment manager? Hi. What do you need today? I've got a broken living room window. I'm sorry about that. How did it get broken? I've got a good idea, but I'm not exactly sure. Well, why don't you give me a few details? I would bet a dollar to a dime that it's one of the local kids. Do you have any support for that charge? A baseball was on my living room carpet. I don't own a baseball. Well, sounds like someone hit a home run. I saw them playing ball in the lot just before I went to the market. Do you know for sure who they were? All I did was glance at them before I left. If you like, I'll call a repairman, but it might take a few days. How about if I call my friend? He's a repairman. I could probably fix it today. Sure. Let me come over to see the damage right now, though. Sure. Come on over. But tell me, do I have to pay for this? You're not responsible, so you don't pay. Tell him to bill me. 
Well, lucky me. I was afraid that I was going to get stuck for the bill. Maybe I'll install a camera on that end of the building to catch these kids. Can you give me a little more information about your apartment? Sure. What can I help you with? What kind of public transportation is near your apartment? I'm not sure, but I believe there is a bus stop about three blocks away. Do you know a direction that bus travels? I'm sorry. If you check online, you can get that kind of information. Okay, I'll just go online. Okay. Good luck with your search. Hello. I was hoping you could give me more info about your apartment. I can try to help you. What would you like to know? Is there access to public transportation near the apartment? I'm pretty sure there's a bus stop within walking distance. Do you know anything about the buses that stop there? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you can find out that stuff online. I think the local library has bus info. Good luck. The bus info shouldn't be too hard to find. Can you give me a little more information about your apartment? All right. What do you need to know? What is the public transportation like near your apartment? I don't use buses, but I think there's a bus stop a few blocks away. Which route does the bus travel? I wish I could help you, but I know nothing about the bus system. I'll just check my phone book. It has lots of good information. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. I was hoping you could give me more information about the apartment for rent. I can certainly try. Do buses or trains run by the apartment? I can't swear to it, but I think a bus stop is a couple of blocks away. Where does the bus take you? I don't want to lead you astray. You should check online. My neighbor takes the bus. I'll ask him if he knows. Bus line information should be pretty easy to find. Could you give me a little more information about the apartment? Sure, if I can. What do you want to know? Is there a bus or train system near the apartment? I'm pretty sure there's a bus stop only a few blocks away. Do you know which buses stop there? I'm sure there's an 800 number or a website that could help you. I don't have a computer. I'll just look in my phone book. Bus line information should be pretty easy to find. Hello, this is Anna. Hi, I'm Jack. Uh, you called about the room for rent. Are you still interested? Yes, I am. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Shoot. I just want to be sure that we get along. I agree with you 100%. We must get along. Are you a party animal? Oh no, I'm a very quiet person. Great. Next, are you neat or are you a slob? I'm a pretty neat person. Are you a night owl or a day person? Early to bed, early to rise. Finally, do you smoke? Actually, I quit smoking four years ago. Excellent answers. Do you have any questions for me? Just one. Is there a parking lot? Unfortunately, you have to park in the street. Well, I'm desperate. I'll take it anyway. Great. Let me know when you're ready to move in. I think it'll be tomorrow if that's okay. No problem. I'll be here all day tomorrow. Hello, you've reached Anna. I'm Jack. Are you still interested in renting a room? Yes, very much so. Would it be alright if I asked you some questions? Fire away. I just want to make sure that we're compatible. That's a good idea. We need to get along. Do you like to party? I don't party, and I don't like people who do. Great. Now, are you a neat person, or do you leave trash all over? One of my mottos is to clean as you go. Do you sleep in or rise early? I go to bed early and I get up early. And last, are you a smoker? I can't stand cigarette smoke. Excellent. Now, do you have any questions for me? Only one. Where can I park my car? I hate to tell you, but it's street parking. I don't like it, but I need an apartment now, so I'll take it. Great. Give me a call and I'll help you move your stuff in. Will tomorrow be okay with you? That sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow.
Hi, this is Anna. Hi, my name is Jack. You called about a room for rent. Are you still interested? Yes, more than you know. I don't mean to pry, but could I ask you a couple of questions? Ask away. I don't want us to be roommates who don't get along. Yes, we must get along if we're going to be roommates. Is partying one of your priorities? I'm a student. I don't have time to party. Very good. Now, do you clean up after yourself? I clean up my own mess, and I expect others to do so too. What time do you usually hit the sack? Occasionally, I stay up late if there's a big test the next day. What about smoking? If I ever get elected president, I will ban smoking nationwide. Very good. Now, would you like to ask me anything? Yes, I have one question. Do I have to park in the street? I'm sorry. Yes, you have to park your car in the street. I hate street parking, but I need the apartment now. Very good. Just call me when you're ready to move your stuff over here. How about if I come over tomorrow afternoon? Just ring the doorbell. I'll be here all day. Hello, Anna speaking. This is Jack. Are you still interested in renting a room? Oh yes. Would you mind answering a couple of questions? No problem. Since we might be roommates, I want to make sure there's no friction. You are right. We need to be compatible. Do you go out to clubs or bars a lot? I have been to only one nightclub in my whole life. Good. Now, do you expect others to pick up after you? Occasionally, I might slip up, but usually I'm clean and neat. What kind of hours do you keep? The early bird gets the worm. I hope you're not a smoker. I can smell a cigarette a mile away. It makes me gag. <laughs> Your answers are great. Now, do you have a question or two for me? Just one. What's the parking situation? This place allows only one parking space per apartment, so you'll have to park on the street. I don't like it, but I guess I can live with it. Okay, I think we'll be good roommates. Just call me when you're ready to move in. I can move in by tomorrow afternoon. That's fine. I was planning on being home tomorrow anyway. Hello, Anna here. Hi, Anna. I'm Jack. Are you still thinking about renting a room? Yes, I need a room badly. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm an open book. I want to make sure that we get along, okay? I'm with you. We both need to live in harmony. Do you like to drink and party? I hate noise and I hate loud people. <laughs> Excellent. Now, do you leave a trail of trash wherever you go? A place for everything and everything in its place. Do you keep normal hours? I'm usually asleep before the eleven o'clock news. You don't have a cigarette habit, do you? Cigarette smoking is the dumbest habit in the world. I like your answers. Now, are there any questions you'd like to ask me? Yes. Is the parking off street or on street? You're not gonna like this. It's street parking only. That figures. Nothing is perfect, but I'll take it. You know, I think we're gonna hit off. Call me when you're coming over. I can get all packed tonight and be there tomorrow. Just come on over any time. I'll be here the whole day. Hi, Tom. This is Hannah from Apartment 4C. Oh, hi, Hannah. There's something wrong with my garbage disposal. Exactly. What's going on? When I turn on the disposal switch, all I get is silence. When did this happen? Well, about a week ago is when it started sounding strange. Did you accidentally drop something in the disposal? No, I only use it about once a week. I hardly ever put anything into it. Actually, I've heard that too little use is bad for a disposal. Well, no one ever told me that. Did you try to turn it on with the disposal key? I don't have a key. Well, I've got a spare key, so I'll come over to show you how to use it. Okay, come on over now and show me how to use it. If the key doesn't work, I'll have to call the repairman. Well, if it doesn't work, it's no big deal. Yes, but if something's broken, I'd like to get it fixed ASAP. Tom, are you there? It's Hannah from 4C. Hey, Hannah. Long time no hear from. My garbage disposal refuses to work. What happens when you turn on the switch? When I turn on the switch, nothing happens. When did you first notice this? A week ago, it started sounding different. 
Did you put something in it that you shouldn't have? I use it rarely. When I do use it, I put pasta or other soft food into it. Hmm. Maybe you haven't been using the disposal enough. Sort of like an air conditioner in your home or car? Exactly. However, sometimes you can get it going again by using the key. What key? A disposal key. I've got a spare one, so I'll come over to show you. Okay. Come on over now and show me how to use it. If the key doesn't correct the problem, I'll have to call someone. Well, like I said, I rarely use it, so it won't be a problem. Well, it's my nature to fix things as soon as I can. Is anybody home? It's me, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. How's everything going? My garbage disposal isn't working. Can you be a little more specific? Nothing happens when I turn on the switch. Do you remember how it started? About a week ago, I noticed a new sound. You didn't drop a fork or anything into it, did you? I don't use it very often. When I do use it, I put only soft food into it. I've heard that disposals need to be run frequently. That's interesting. I never heard that before. Have you tried to turn it manually using the key? I don't have a key, and I wouldn't know how to use it. I've got an extra key. I'll show you how to use it. I'm always willing to learn something new. Come on over. The key might not work. Then I'll have to call the plumber. If it works or doesn't work, it doesn't matter much to me. Yes, but I prefer to fix things now instead of later. Hello, Tom. This is Hannah in 4C. Hi, Hannah. What can I do for you? My garbage disposal went south. Does it turn at all? There is nothing but silence when I turn on the switch. Did it die suddenly? It started to make a weird sound last week. You didn't try to grind up a dead body, did you? No, that's against the law, isn't it? I only use it on soft food, maybe once a week. Strange as it seems, a disposal should be run frequently. Once a week might not be enough, huh? There's a key that will turn it manually to loosen it up. Even if I could find this key, I wouldn't know how to use it. How about if I bring one over and show you how to use it? Great! Come on over and teach me all about garbage disposal keys. The key isn't a guarantee. I still might have to call a repairman. It's no big deal to me if you can fix it or not. Well, we don't want the food that's in there to start to smell bad, do we? Hi, Tom. This is Hannah calling. Hi, Hannah. What's up? I think my garbage disposal kicked the bucket. Is it dying or is it dead? Turning on the switch is the same as not turning on the switch. Did it make strange sounds before it croaked? Last week, I noticed that it sounded strange. You haven't been putting mango or avocado seeds in there, have you? I use the disposal rarely. When I do use it, I put only soft food into it. I think a disposal freezes up when it's not used frequently. You mean it's sort of like use it or lose it? Try loosening it up by using the disposal key. Disposal key? I have a house key and a car key, but no disposal key. Well, I've got an extra key. I'll bring it over. Okay, come on over and show me how to fix this thing. Sometimes the key works, sometimes it doesn't. I still might have to call a plumber. Well, there's no big hurry as far as I'm concerned. If we don't fix it sometime, your apartment might start to attract bugs or rodents. Yes, this is John Smith. John, this is Terry Evans. I called to tell you I have good news. Great, what is it? The owner has approved your rental application. He enjoyed talking to you. That's great. He seemed like a really nice guy. Now, before you can move in, you need to pay some fees. Fees? What kind of fees? You know, first and last month's rent and security deposit. Oh, those fees. First and last is 2500 and the deposit is 1000 Just send me a check for 3500 No problem. What's your address? Send it to 3035 East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, 91107. So, when can I move in? The first of next month. 
Just stop by my office and pick up your keys. Very good. Let me have your phone number. Sure. It's 626-555-3000. John speaking. John, my name is Terry Evans. I have good news for you. I'm all ears. What is it? Your rental application has been approved. The owner thinks you'll be an excellent tenant. Oh, that's so good. It makes my day. Now, before you move in, you have to pay some fees. Fees? What are you talking about? You know, first and last month's rent and the security deposit. Oh, of course. When you said fees, I was thinking of parking fees or something. That will come to $3,500. $2,500 plus $1,000. You can send me the check. I'll do that immediately. Where do I send it? Mail it to 3035 East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, 91107. One more question. When can I move in? You can move in on the 1st. Stop by here and pick up the keys. Great. What's your phone number? My number is 626-555-3000. I'm John Smith. How can I help you? Hi, John. This is Terry Evans. I've got some good news for you. I hope you're from the lottery. Go ahead. The apartment owner was impressed with your interview. He has approved your rental application. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Of course, there are some fees to pay before you move in. Fees? I don't remember anything about fees. You know, the usual. First and last month's rent and the security deposit. But of course, you cannot move in unless you pay such fees. So, you could write me a check for $3,500. That's 2500 and 1000 deposit. No sooner said than done. Where shall I mail it? Just mail it to 3035 East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, 91107. So, when will I be able to move in? Move in on the 1st. Come on by my office and pick up your keys. Sounds great. Tell me your phone number. Certainly. My office number is 626-555-3000. Yes, this is John Smith. How may I help you? Hello, John. Terry Evans here. I'm happy to give you some good news. Great. Shoot. The apartment owner likes you. He has approved your rental application. Oh, thank you. That's the news I was hoping to hear. Before you move in, of course, you have to pay some fees. Fees? I'm confused. What fees are you talking about? You know, the security deposit and the first and last month's rent. Oh, I got it. I thought you were talking about something else. Just send me a check for $3,500. That's a deposit for $1,000 plus $2,500 for rent. Just give me your address and I'll mail the check today. You can send it to 3035 East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, 91107. So, when can I start packing? When can I move in? Your rent will start on the 1st, so move in then. Stop by here for your keys. Very good. Now, all I need is your phone number. Call my office anytime at 626-555-3000. Yes, I'm John Smith. What can I do for you? Hi, John. This is Terry Evans here. Do you want some good news? Sure, let me have it. The apartment owner likes you. He approved your rental application. Wow, that's fantastic. I don't know what to say. Now you can't move in, of course, until you've paid some fees. Fees? I don't remember anything about fees. Fees, like the first and last month's rent and the security deposit. Oh, yes, of course, those fees. You can send me a check for the total. $2,500 plus $1,000 equals a total of $3,500. All I need is your address, and the check will be in the mail pronto. My address is 3035 East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, 91107. Okay, got it.
Now, when will he let me move in? Move in when your rent starts on the first. But get your keys from me first. Okay. Give me your phone number, please. You can always reach me or leave a message at six two six five 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 three zero zero zero. Hello, Nicole here. Nicole, this is Richard. I think you know why I'm calling. Uh oh, it's about the rent. Yes, this is the second month in a row. I thought there was a grace period. There is no grace period in the rental agreement. Oh, I guess I forgot. Well, when can I expect the rent? You'll get it by Monday. Don't forget the fifty dollar late fee. Is that in the rental agreement? The late fee is circled in red ink. Oh, well, I can't find my copy of the agreement. If you're late next month, I might have to give you an eviction notice. Hi, this is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Richard here. I think you've got a good idea why I'm calling. Yes, it's about the rent, isn't it? Yes, your rent is late. This is the second month in a row. But I thought I had a grace period. I told you last month that the rental agreement contains no grace period. Oh, I guess I was thinking about the last place that I lived. Well, tell me when I'm going to get your rent. I get paid tomorrow, so you'll get the check by Monday. Don't forget to include the fifty dollar late fee. Are you sure a late fee is in the rental agreement? How could you miss the late fee? It's circled in red ink. I can't find my copy of the rental agreement. I know it's somewhere in my apartment. If you're late one more time, I'm probably going to evict you. Hello, Nicole here. Who's calling, please? Hey, Nicole. It's Richard. I'm pretty sure you know why I'm calling. Yes, a dollar gets a dime, but you're calling about the rent. Nicole, for the second month in a row, your rent is late. I thought you said there was a grace period. No, I didn't. There was no grace period last month, this month, or any month. Maybe I'm confusing this place with my last place. Well, I'm waiting to receive your rent check. I get my money tomorrow, so I can pay you by Monday. Remember, just like last month, you have to pay the fifty dollar late fee. I don't remember seeing a late fee in the rental agreement. If you look at your agreement, you'll see the late fee circled in red ink. I forgot where I put my rental agreement. One more late check, and you're looking at eviction. Hello, this is Nicole. This is Richard. Let's not play games. You know why I'm calling. Oh, not again! You're calling about the rent. Yes, your rent check is late, just like last month. What happened to my grace period? Why would there be a grace period this month? There wasn't one last month. I guess I might be a little confused. What day in the near future can I expect your check? My boss told me he'll pay me tomorrow. You'll get my check by Monday. Remember to include the fifty-dollar late fee. Are you sure the rental agreement? Included a late fee. The red ink around the late fee in your agreement should tell you something. I seem to have lost my rental agreement. Don't be late again, or you'll be evicted. Hi, this is Nicole. Nicole, it's Richard. You know why I'm calling. Yes, I know. It's the rent, isn't it? Yes, just like last month, your rent is overdue. What about my grace period? Are you getting Alzheimer's? There is no grace period in the rental agreement. Sometimes my memory isn't so good. Maybe I do have Alzheimer's. I'm looking forward to receiving your check in the very near future. Is money okay? I get paid tomorrow. Remember that the check amount must include the fifty late fee. Okay. If the rental agreement actually has a late fee, I'll pay the fifty dollars. Look at your agreement. There's a big red circle around the late fee. As soon as I find my rental agreement, I'll read it again. I'm not giving you any more chances. Be late again, and you'll be evicted. Hello, this is Betty. Hi, Betty. Larry here. How many smoke detectors are in your apartment? Actually, I have two. Are the batteries fresh? 
Both batteries are good. Great. I need to come by and check them myself. No problem. When are you coming by? Thursday at noon. I'll let myself in if you're not there. Okay. Remember to lock my door when you leave. I'll be in and out of there in just a few minutes. Hello, this is Betty. Hello, Betty. This is Larry. How many smoke detectors are on your ceiling? I have two smoke detectors. Do you have fresh batteries in both of them? Both batteries are pretty fresh. Very good. I have to come by there and check out all the detectors. Very good. When do you think you'll be coming over? I'll be by on Thursday at noon. You don't have to be there. I won't be home. Just remember to lock my door, okay? You won't even know that I've been there. Hello, Betty speaking. Hey, Betty, this is Larry. Tell me, how many smoke detectors do you have, please? This apartment came with one, and I installed another one. Are there fresh batteries in each of them? Each detector beeps when the battery is low. They're not beeping. Good. I'm calling all the tenants because I have to check all the detectors. Okay. What day were you thinking about dropping by? I'll be at your building at noon on Thursday. If you're not there, I'll let myself in. If you're thirsty, you can grab a beer or soda out of my fridge. Thanks, but it'll only take me about two minutes to test them and leave. Hi, this is Betty. Hi, Betty. It's Larry. I need to know how many smoke detectors are in your apartment. There was one when I moved in. Then I added one. Do both detectors have fresh batteries? I always keep them fresh. I don't want to burn to death. <laughs> That's good. I have to come by there and check out all the detectors. Not a problem. When will you be here? I'll be letting myself into all the apartments on Thursday at noon. If it's raining, make sure you wipe your feet before you come in, okay? Not to worry. I'll be in and out of your place in a flat. Hello? Hi, Betty. It's Larry. Can you tell me how many smoke detectors you have? There are two smoke detectors in my apartment. Do you know how new the batteries are? I'm very afraid of fires. I change the batteries every Labor Day. Good. I'm calling all the tenants before I come by to test the detectors. My detectors are ready for you. When will you be visiting? This Thursday at noon, but you don't have to be there. Okay. Just pardon the mess when you come in. You'll never even know that I was there. Hello, Nicole. This is uh, Jimmy in 309. Hello, Jimmy. What's up? You're not going to believe this. Believe me. I think I've heard everything. I can't find my mailbox key. Is that all? That's a lot better than losing your car keys. I had a duplicate, but I can't find it either. If you come by my place, I can loan you a key. There's no emergency. All I get is junk mail and bills. Can you wait till Wednesday? I'll make you two more keys. Sure. That'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday, but it's going to cost you $2 per key. Can I speak to Nicole? This is Jimmy in apartment 309. Hi, Jimmy. This is Nicole. What's happening? You probably never heard this one before. Don't bet on it. I've been an apartment manager for a long time. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my mailbox key. Well, that's pretty minor. I lost my car keys and house keys once. To make matters worse, I can't find my duplicate either. If you want, come over here and I'll lend you a key. No, there's nothing vital in the mailbox, just junk and bills. If you can wait until Wednesday, I'll make you two more keys for you. Wednesday's fine. Okay, I'll bring them by Wednesday. Have four dollars ready for me. Hi, Nicole. This is Jimmy in 309. Hello, Jimmy. Can I help you? I've got a little problem. Tell me your problem, and maybe I can help. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my mailbox key. Well, that's pretty minor. I lost my car keys and house keys once. As if that wasn't bad enough, I also misplaced the duplicate. Well, if it's an emergency, come by here, and I'll lend you a key. No, even if there's a bill in there, it can wait. If you don't mind waiting until Wednesday, I'll make two more keys for you. Oh, I can wait, believe me. 
Okay, see you Wednesday. They're not free, you know. It'll be four dollars. Hey, Nicole. It's Jimmy in 309. Hi there, Jimmy. What can I do for you? I screwed up and I need your help. Tell me the specific problem. Let me see what I can do. I've torn my apartment apart, but I can't find my mailbox key. Well, you should be grateful it wasn't your car keys. On top of that, I couldn't find the duplicate either. If you need to get in there, come by and borrow a key. No, my mailbox is usually empty anyway. Well then, I'll make you two more keys on Wednesday. No problem. I can wait till Wednesday. Maybe there will be something in there by then. Okay, have four dollars ready for when you see me Wednesday. Hello? This is Jimmy in 309. Hi, Jimmy. This is Nicole. What's going on? Maybe you can get me out of a small jam. Well, I can certainly try. Somehow I managed to lose my mailbox key. Believe me, losing a mailbox key is a lot better than losing your car keys. I've got a duplicate somewhere, but I haven't been able to find it either. If you absolutely can't wait, come over here and borrow a key. No, I doubt that there's anything important in my mailbox, if there's anything at all. Well, if there's no emergency, I can make you two more keys on Wednesday. Not a problem. All my fan mail can wait until then. Okay, see you Wednesday. Have four dollars for me, and I'll give you a receipt. Good afternoon, Jim. This is Olivia. Oh, hi, Olivia. How can I help you? I'm going to be moving out. Oh, really? When are you leaving? I'll be leaving on the last day of June. Any particular reason? I got a new job. Congratulations. What is it? I'm going to be an ESL instructor at Pasadena City College. Great. By the way, what's ESL? ESL stands for English as a Second Language. Well, I'm glad it wasn't your neighbors causing you to move. Just because they play their TV loud enough for the whole complex? <laughs> yes, I know. I'm going to have another talk with them. Anyway, it's been nice knowing you for these past few years. You too. Keep in touch and good luck with your new job. How's it going, Jim? This is Olivia. Hello, Olivia. What's up? I wanted to let you know that I have to move out. I'm sorry to hear that. When are you moving? The 30th of June. May I ask why you're leaving? I found a new job. Good for you. What's your new job? I'm an ESL teacher at Pasadena City College. Very good. What does ESL mean? ESL means English as a Second Language. Well, I'm glad you're not moving out because of the neighbors. I can't tell you how happy I'll be not to have to listen to their TV. Yes, I'm going to tell them one more time to turn down their TV and keep it down. You've been a good apartment manager and a good person. I'll see you in June. Thank you. I hope your new job and new apartment are good for you. Hi, Jim. How are you? Olivia here. Hi, Olivia. What's going on? I just wanted to give you notice that I'm moving. Oh, that's too bad. What's the moving date? I'll be gone on the last day in June. Can I ask why you're moving? I've been looking for a long time, and I finally found a good job. Very good. What's your new job? I'm going to teach ESL at Pasadena City College. Good for you. What does ESL stand for? ESL is English as a Second Language. Well, I'm glad you don't feel you're being chased out by your neighbors. Their TV is so loud, you'd think they were stone deaf. I'll tell them one more time to turn down their TV. Then I'm going to evict them. Thanks for all your help over the past few years. Thanks. Good luck with your new neighbors and your new job. Hi, Jim. It's Olivia. Hey, Olivia. What's happening? I'll be moving out in a while, so I wanted you to know. Well, that's not good news. When are you moving? The last day of June. Is something wrong with your apartment? No, not anything new. But I just found out that I've been hired for a new job. Great. What is the new job? 
I'm going to be an ESL instructor at Pasadena City College. That's great. ESL is some kind of electronics class? ESL is a class for students who are learning English as their second language. I'm glad that your neighbors aren't the reason that you're moving. I won't miss having to listen to their darn TV. I'm giving them one more warning about their TV. Then they're out of here. I appreciate what a good apartment manager you've been these past few years. It's been nice knowing you, too. Good luck with teaching LES. Hello, Jim. It's Olivia. Hi there. What can I do for you today? You should know that I'll be moving out in a while. Gee, that's too bad. What day do you plan to leave? June 30th is my last day. I hope it's not your neighbors or the latest rent increase. No, neither one. I got lucky. I found a new job. Hey, give me five. Good for you. What is it? I'll be teaching ESL at Pasadena City College. Great. Is ESL a class about the Internet? No. ESL is English for students whose native language is not English. I was worried that you were moving because of your neighbors. Whoever my next neighbor is cannot possibly be as loud as those people. I'm going to give them 30 days notice if they don't turn that TV down. Thanks for everything. I'll give you the keys on the 30th. You've been a very good tenant. Good luck with your new SEL job.